Hey, what's up, guys? This is Anurag back with another video. And in this video, I will tell you the pros and the cons of the Sony of 4C H and the Sony of 4C H Pro. Also, I will tell you is this a best Wi-Fi smart switch? So, without wasting any more time, let's begin with the video. Previously, I have done series of video on how to configure and set up the Sony of switch. So, if you haven't watched that videos, then do watch that video. I will provide the links in the i button. as well as in the description box below so currently i'm using this sony of 4ch pro from last 2 months so i think i better know its pros and cons and if you are planning to purchase this device then do watch this video till then because it will clear all your doubts so first of all we'll discuss the cons of this device means the bad things the first con that i see that is it is a four channel device means it can only support four devices and also there is no other such device available that can support more than four devices so as of now you can use only four devices if you want more devices then you have to buy the second device or you will need to look for the other options so that's the first con the second con is that it requires the internet connection and i know it's required if you are accessing your device outside from your network or outside of your home but in internal network also it requires internet i know why they do that because it simply supports the google assistant and the amazon alexa and to work that artificial intelligence it requires the internet connection but there are times when you have no internet in your home and that time it will not simply work because it can't connect to its server so you have to manually turn on or off the lights from the board or the wireless remote Of course there are methods where you can flash the custom firmware but that is not stable solution so if you have the internet in your home then you can purchase this device otherwise there is no use of this device because simply you cannot access your devices from the mobile but the company has recently added one option where you can enable the lan so in that way your devices will work without internet but as of now there is no support for the four channel switch so simply it is not working for this switch another con is the evilink app has one bug let me first show you that so as you can see i have launched the evilink app and now i will try to turn off the lights but as you can see it gives error it says operation failed and it happens every time when i launch this app so it happens when you launch the app and quickly try to turn on or off the device that time it gives the error but after opening the app and holding for couple of seconds if you try to control your device then it will work why this happens because it's taking too much time to connect to its server and also i have seen sometimes it won't work even after couple of seconds i found a solution by using my google assistant and surprisingly it works better than the app also the app is pretty graphic savvy or i don't know why the app is taking too much time to open So soon off if you are listening then please work on those issues. The fourth and the last con is suppose if you have an working internet connection and because of the some issues it is not working and let's say after a couple of hours your internet is working but after coming the internet i have seen sometimes the device is fail to connect to its server but if i try to ping the server from my machine then it's reachable but it is not connecting to the device. and to get rid of this issue you can try to restart your router or you will need to reboot the device itself and the most irritating thing that is there is no option to reboot this device so you have to manually cut down your mains power and then you will need to turn on it back so these are the issues that i face with this device but the good thing is some of the major issues that i have talked in this video can be fixed with the future software updates so let's move to the pros of this device means the good thing about this device let's start with the build quality and i feel the build quality is very good i mean it does not feel cheap and i'm not talking about only the outer casing i'm also talking about the internal pcb both are well made so big thumbs up for the build quality second pros of this device is it is very easy to set up and configure there is no extraordinary knowledge that will required to set up this device if you have any basic electric knowledge then you can do this by your own the third good thing about this device that is this is very cost effective i mean if you compare this with other smart lighting solution that are currently available in market then they cost a lot when you compare to this device of course there are some feature 
that it cannot offers but still there is no such device available in this price range the next pros is this device supports 433 megahertz wireless band so that you can purchase any 433 megahertz remote then you can control your appliances with that remote and i personally use that remote a lot because that is a dedicated device the next good thing is although this app has issue the app has bunch of features like there is sharing mode where you can share your remote with your family members to control this device on their devices next it has schedule in which you can schedule your tasks let's say if you want in morning 7 am the light needs to turn on then you can set like that then the light will turn on in the morning 7 am the next feature is there is timer mode where you can set timer for certain channels also there is new feature where you can on or off all channels and as i'm using this device from almost 2 to 3 months now i'm pretty happy with this device so if you want to convert your normal home to smart home and if you are in tight budget this is the device to go with and as i said in my previous video if you are planning to buy this device then purchase this from any chinese website because it way cheaper than indian websites so if you are interested then you can check out the description box below also i will recommend you to purchase the sona 4ch pro that i am currently using because in the pro version you can add the two way switch if you don't know about the two way switch then i have already made the detail video on it so that you can check it out and that's pretty much it for this video if you have any more doubts suggestion or queries then do let me know in the comment section below i would love to hear them well thank you guys for watching this has been anurag and i will see you in the next one